Longest, oldest standing tradition at Rice in student life. We're now in the 56th year of Beer Bike. In the original days of this event, uh, students would ride bikes and chug beer, but that goes back 50 years more. Uh, now, actually, the students are all chugging water, uh, and the people who chug are not the same as the people who ride the bikes. Last year, they asked me to come out and start the men's race just as county judge. And since my background's logistics, we were up here talking about, it's hard to keep track of who's in what place. You know, teams are lapping each other and all that. They've been doing it the same way for however many years and now finally put some technology, bring us into the 21st century with Beer Bike. And I said, you know, has anybody ever thought about doing an RF to ID chip on the riders so that you can actually have real time? And they did a senior project and of course, when you, when you make a suggestion, they came back and said, well, how about you pay for it? So uh, I contributed to it, uh, but next year, this year they're, they're testing it to be sure it works. But I think in coming years, they're gonna be able to actually, you know, stream live the, the race as it goes and you can and, and track the, the riders. And so it, it'll be great. So basically in past years, they've used just judges kind of trying to eyeball you, stall budgets and mark it down the scoring sheet. And now we've got RFID tags attached to the helmet of each rider. They ride under this awning, has RFID antennas on it. That reads the tag every time they cross under, records the time, outputs it to a computer. It should be automatic, should be much more precise than past years, a little more reliable. But it's really chaotic, because we had to pass that 300 RFID tags. No other system covers 82 feet of track. All the marathon systems are about 20 feet long, and so they'll funnel all runners through them. And since we have to measure people entering the pit, as well as the finish line that just simply wasn't an option for us. So when we got a price quoted for 82 feet, it was about $90,000. And so purchasing a third party system, which is not an option, we had to build our own. Watching, watching this and knowing that our, what we've done for the, the last year is working, it's awesome.